Jamie, a 1 0 win here at Gloucester City, a performance of energy, effort, enthusiasm. Thoughts on the game? Probably the, the best win that we've had this season, if I'm being really truthful. The, the circumstances leading up to the game, stuck in Trafford, getting here at half past seven, delaying the game. Lads, obviously, inevitably not feeling 100% as we come out. Hansen's worked his magic. Um, and then the effort and endeavour was, was, was brilliant. You know, I thought the shape was good. First 20 to 25 minutes, we, we had so much energy and we crossed the ball so many times. We created a couple of decent opportunities. We didn't, we didn't rip them open, but we energetic in midfield um, and solid at the, fact at the back, very resolute. We just couldn't really capitalise on that little bit of pressure that we had. Then the last sort of 20, 25 minutes of that first half, they grew into the game, they got their tens on it, the wide men kept hold of the ball a little bit longer and were able to play through, created a couple of chances. They probably should have scored their chances, but Theo's in fine form this season. He has been since the moment I stepped through the door and he's been brilliant again today. He's made a couple of outstanding saves, two or three in a row at one point as well. Um, but I thought defensively, we, we look up, apart from that moment of probably five or ten minutes where they had a couple of chances, I don't think they've really created too much. Um, contrary to that, we created a lot. We, we, we counted on them in the second half, we had a game plan, we changed the shape a little bit and the lads responded to that. But I thought the energy of Bunny in particular, Sarge, Linden in midfield, Ozzy came on and, and offered. Um, but look, all, all, all over, I thought Declan Poole had a really strong game. I could go, go through them. Um, and anything that they threw at us then in the last 10 or 15 minutes, we had Newt, Briz, Multi, Granite as well as was on there all. You know, it's a, it's a proper, proper team performance. Very, very proud. And obviously, competition all over the uh, all over the pitch now in the squad. Really good to see, obviously, Conor Kirby out today. A few changes from Saturday. Are you happy with the competition in the squad and how the squad's shaping up? Yeah, look, we've carried a few injuries this season. And at one point, we had seven players injured. We're back to having f four injured now, possibly five. Uh, we've been able to bring 16 with us today. Um, Sir Hat Tazdemir has done done well for us at the start of the season. He finds himself unfor you know, unfortunate being on the uh, on the edge at the moment and has not played today. So disappointing for him and also Matty Hudson, who's been uh, who's been great great for us. But to be able to put the likes of Linz and Gilly and, and, and Sarge on and just just rotate it a little bit, you know, no one's been dropped or anything. I thought we, you know we got through on Saturday, but. Linden came on had a good game. Gilchrist has scored a goal, and Sarge has got good energy, just waiting, waiting to be let go. So we we, we weren't outstanding. We weren't we were, you know, totally dominant in a game. But you're not going to go away from home and be and be totally dominant dominant or at home for that matter. But we did the right things, particularly in the second half. But first half we gave the ball away sloppy. We were heading it into into dangerous areas and. You know, making a few poor decisions, but you know, overall, the lads that have come in have given a fantastic account of themselves, and, and it makes my decisions more difficult. And that's what it's about. You, know, you don't enjoy having difficult conversations with players. Uh, it wasn't pleasant tonight, leaving a few of those lads out. But uh, lads that have come in, as I say, really good account of themselves, and it makes it more difficult for me, but but good for the for the squad. And obviously, it's a long, long way on a Tuesday night for the uh, 30 or so fans that travelled from Buxton, and all those I'm sure who were scrolling Twitter at home. We just got a word for the travelling fans who I'm sure the journey back will be made a lot easier by the result. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. And, and the lads appreciate it. It's not an easy place to get to on a Tuesday and we were stuck, I'm sure they were they were stuck as well. But there's yeah, a relationship grows with fans over time and I think the relationship that the new players have got with the fans is is growing. The lads already here, you know, Josh Granite and Diego. That the fans know what these sort of players are all about, but they're learning more about Multi and Briz and Bunny and, and other lads who've come in. And, and slowly over time, when they see those type of performances, um, it's great. It's it's great to develop those relationships, as I've just said. And the people at home, hopefully, will get a little bit of wind of you know what these lads are doing for us at, um, at the moment. Look, we've we've won a game of football. We've kept them with a clean sheet, and we're not getting carried away. But at the moment, our form is good. Confidence is high, and we just need to try and try and maintain that as much as we can. And I can't leave it without just a quick message. Obviously, yesterday, FA Cup draw, we uh, we drew Ipswich, perhaps the biggest game in the club's history. Obviously, you were at Wrexham for the draw, so everyone who tuned in and saw you and your fantastic outfit you had on. But uh, any words on, on that draw, Jamie? Made up, made up for, for the football club. You know, you go in, it's a little bit of a, a grey area when you get to the second round. Do you want the easiest tie possible? Easiest is the, is the wrong word to use, but you know what I, you know what I mean by that. Or do you want the big, you know, one of the big hitters? And and, and we, we've we've drawn one of the big hitters in Ipswich. Um, but 
you know we're not going to i've seen it happen before through the years growing up as a as a young lad and and, and i'm lucky and fortunate enough to experience a couple of giant killings and you know why not again we'll be going there um hopefully after a couple of other good performances we're going to give it our all for the town for the fans for uh, and for buxton and hopefully as many buxton people can travel um and witness what could be one of the the, uh, the best moments in in buxton's history who knows Brilliant, Jamie. Well, Banbury on Saturday, before that. Uh, well done this evening again. Well done to all the lads. And enjoy the rest of your week.